Okay, we are doing a quick look at the, I'm going to butcher this name, Cardical Amplification Colossus Preamp. This is a two-channel, uh, well, I would almost say um, three-channel rack mount preamp. Uh, I believe this builder is out of Poland, maybe? Or, I mean, obviously European country. Um, from what I understand, this is a very simple clean channel and something with a take on a 5150 front end. I'm not quite sure if he was going for PV5150 or EVH5150. Um, the preamp section of that amplifier, except this has an unholy amount of gain. Um, I don't know if there's an additional gain stage in it or, or what he's got going on. Uh, I just want to preface this with this thing sounds great <clears throat> on uh, this side. This is the gain side. Um, this is the clean side, and it's okay. It's I'm not going to say that it's amazing or outstanding or anything like that. It's okay. I'll give you a listen to the clean side for just a very short period of time. I have a feeling that if anybody's buying this thing, it's it's for the it's for the overdrive channel, the lead channel. Um, <clears throat> It's got an effects loop, it's got uh, multiple outputs, um, and a really cool thing about this is that you can load impulse responses into it. I don't really have a need for that feature, so I, I didn't load any impulse responses, or I'm not using that feature, but um, I did check it out, and it is really cool. The, the impulses that are loaded in there are, are pretty cool. Um, and I think that's awesome that it has, it's kind of a take on a speaker simulated out, except you can choose different speaker cabinets without actually having to run like an IR pedal or, um, you know, like these Torpedo Live, uh, these are digital load boxes, but you can run a preamp into them and, and load up your IRs. Um, there's no additional, there's no need for an additional piece of equipment, which is cool. Um, this this guy's kind of taken something new and implemented into, the, into a rack mount preamp. Um, he makes pedals as well. Uh, and a few other audio, guitar-related audio um, instruments, not instruments, but um, useful kind of gadgets. He, I believe he makes like a pedal uh, power amp as well. Um, Cardical, if Cardical, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, if you wanna reach out to me with uh, what everything that you do is, or like all your different uh, products, I'd be happy to talk about them because I think this is a really, really cool preamp. Um, that being said, it, it definitely takes on the characteristics of a 5150. It is a bit of a one trick pony, uh, but the trick it does is really cool. And this does a, just a little bit more. Um, I really like the sweep knob and the uh, character switch because it takes it from a marshall -y type thing to a Mesa type thing, and I think it does it well, um, which very difficult for to capture that in a preamp with just changing circuitry um, on one switch. I would imagine that would be very difficult to do, but uh, he seems to have done it quite well. So without any further ado, let's jump into how this thing sounds. Right now we're on the clean channel. Sounds good. The uh, bright switch, I'm not sure if this is bright switched engaged or not. It doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot. So your guess is as good as mine with what that is doing. Um, let's see. We 
don't have the IRs hooked up, um, like I said, but I'll go through the signal chain. It's just 20, 20 Gibson Les Paul Classic into a into my pedal board, which has various um, overdrive and compression on it. Uh, none of that is currently engaged. Into the preamp, out of the preamp, into uh, straight into my DAW. And in my DAW, I have Torpedo Wall of Sound pulled up with a cabinet on uh, a greenback cabinet and a vintage 30 cabinet and then i just have a lx480 reverb on it so it's pretty dry um i love my lx reverb so i really enjoy having that on just about everything but it gives it just a little bit of it's just like a hall setting on there um yeah Clean channel, like I said, not a lot to write home about. It's usable. It does the thing. I did notice it does not take pedals very well. Um, so this is just like, a, this is a Nobles ODR-1 in front of it. It, uh, it doesn't seem to like it. So I, I've kind of stopped trying to fiddle around with putting pedals in front of a clean channel um, because it's just not a very, it's not a very receptive uh, clean channel to pedals. It does the super squeaky thing super squeaky clean thing very well um but it when you get that you also kind of get like a little bit of lifeless character um not a lot of driven i like a little bit of hair on my clean channel so um it's just it's clean it does the clean thing so let's get to what everybody wants to see anyway and jump to the drive channel uh please take note of where the gain is on the left hand, it's the furthest left hand side knob. Um, it's like all the way down. So just keep that in mind as we go here. to you know I, I wanted to say ACDC but honestly I think it's more than that um, amount of gain right off the bat so that being said we're just going to go up a little bit at a time um, I'm going to show you the sweep knob I'm going to go I'll crank up the mids a little bit I'll, um, and then we'll mess with the character switch and then we're going to we're going to wrap this up this is like 80s level, you know, hair metal game. gain up a little bit I just I mean I barely touched that trying to get the hands warmed up but um it's got like i said unholy amount of gain so right there we're we're really pushing um the limits of like a hot rod and marshall type thing um <laughs> So, yeah, a 
lot of gain. Um, let's monkey with this sweep knob here. Let's just take it, you know, 90 degrees left. Well, I'll go back to the middle. I mean, <laughs> I don't hear a lot that that's doing, but you know, if you do, cool. Um, let's bring the bass up. I'm not a super chug chug guy. I play in a country band, so um, I'm I apologize for my you know chug picking not being where it needs to be at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. But um, yeah, so I got this preamp because I wanted something for guys that came to record with me. Um, something that's really got a lot of hair and grit and uh, does the super percussive tight stuff very well. And this does. Um, even with the bass, you know, three quarters of the way up there, it's really not getting flubby. <laughs> Still really progressive and tight, which is cool. Let's bring the bass back to a normal amount. Let's bring the mids up a little bit. I like the middle control on this. Um, it's really usable and it never really gets too honky. So let's... Trouble up. This thing definitely has that thing where when you bring the treble up, you, you got you get more volume. Let's take the treble down. Does what a treble control should do. Adds treble. Oops. I mean, this thing gets pretty loud too. There's just a lot of, you know, clean front end gain in it. 100% clipping right there, I'm sure. Very cool. Um, all right, so back over to the character switch. I'm just going to switch it over. So to the left is more like a Marshall-y sound. And then this is more of the Mesa Boogie sound. I can't take it back down there. So you can immediately hear the uh, the bottom end isn't as tight, um, but it's it's kind of scoopy. get quite as percussive but definitely when you switch it over to the right there's more gain so let's um i'm gonna bring the gain knob up honestly past halfway is completely unusable to me so i'm really not gonna go there um because i won't have time to i won't have the ability to control it and it's just gonna sound like a mess it's already a shitload of gain so let's uh take it from like a quarter to uh piss on it Thank you. 
this morning. It's proved very difficult. I can't play Mastodon and I can't play Metallica. Oh boy. Um, yeah, that's it's you, so that's halfway. So we're gonna go we're gonna go here, uh, and you can hear the noise come up. <laughs> the amount of gain is, is just completely insane. Um, I'm gonna kick it back over to the the Marshall side. Of the we're starting to blur the line here a little bit because with more gain, you're gonna lose a little bit of EQ. So it's not as drastic of a difference between the the Marshall side and the Mesa side. Um, but yeah, and, and we're here, so to hell with it. This is dime. <laughs> can't control it so we'll go back to drew's level of gain <laughs> there you have it there's your colossus preamp by kartikau um thing kicks ass obviously how and where i'm going to use this i guess that's all going to depend on the artist um but it's cool and it does the 5150 thing really well. I believe he custom makes these to order on Reverb. You just got to contact him. Um, I got mine from an individual here in the States. Uh, I picked it up pretty cheap. I believe his asking price is like $4.99. Um, so it's got to be shipped from Europe and everything. But this is a lot of preamp for $500. Bucks. Um, it's, uh, it's a great addition to my wall of preamps but i would like that it had i really like the character switch that's a very useful thing the effects loop very cool if you're going to use it live with the irs um i'm not the this is going to sit in the studio so i probably won't use that but uh it's cool that it has it uh, multiple outputs to run different power amps to different speaker cabinets if you want to go that route <clears throat> it seems to be a pretty well built unit it's really tiny like it's only if you've ever seen these pulled out of the rack it's only like you know that thick or that deep um but definitely full of tubes uh definitely a, a tube sounding preamp um there's not a lot of solid state stuff going on in there uh i'm sure there's some with that amount of gain but i believe there's three or four preamp tubes in this thing um which is cool so yeah colossus preamp contact uh Kartikow, i believe through reverb i think he has a facebook page i don't think he has a website um Kartikow, feel free to reach out with me if you want to explain a little bit more about this preamp i'd be happy to talk to you about it but uh, yeah that's a wrap so thanks for watching sorry for the crappy plan earlier this morning but um you know want to get a video done on this so people would hear it thanks